Stack cache. Undefined behaviors are fun. It looks like Dr. Oswald will allow buffer overflows again. Mm, Dr. Oswald. Analyze this program to identify how you can get the flag. You can view the source here and connect on port 51907. Maybe there's content left over. Compile with Clang 12 and GCC to see how the binaries differ. All right, so let's take a look. I've downloaded the source code. We have a win method. That's great. Oh, but our win method reads the flag and does not print it out. That's interesting. This program is compiled statically with Clang 12 without any optimizations. So if there were an optimizer, it might notice that, hey, I've read into this buffer, but I haven't actually done anything. And it might not do it. Um, we also have this under construction method, which has a lot of character pointers, which it prints out, but it never assigns values to them. And we have our vulnerable method uh, with an input size of 10. Give me a string that gets you the flag. There's our buffer overflow in vuln. And then this is our normal code that makes sure we still have privileges. Okay, so we're going to do an upper flow. I'm going to come over here to the web shell. And we'll grab these files. Actually, we just need the program. Okay, so Ooh, that was interesting. All right, so the address of the win method is right here, 8049DA0. We'll need that. 8049DA0. Maybe I'll write that down for myself. And we'll probably also need the address of this under construction method, which is at 8049E20. And now normally what I would do is I would actually go ahead and reverse engineer Vuln to find out where things are on the stack. I'm going to be a little lazy this time. And I'm going to say, Let's just do this. We'll do gdb vuln.2, which is my right. So I need to add execute permissions to that executable. And we'll go ahead and run it. And it'll say a, b, c, d, e, f, g, h, i, j, k, l, m, n, l, p, q, r, s, t, v, w, x, y, z. So you'll see that I've overflowed the buffer. I've gotten my crash to happen at 4F50. So if I go to ASCII-table.com, 4F is O. So that means that I've gone from A to N. And these characters are before the return address. So that's going to just make life a little bit easier for me rather than doing the reverse engineering. So I'll say Python. Oh, let's see, import sys, sys.standardout.buffer.write. I guess Python 2. Uh, we want an A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. So that 4F I said was O, oh, so everything up to the N plus, and then I'm going to call the win method. Win method was at A0, 9D, 0408. And then what I'm hoping for is this is on the stack. If I just call it under construction, it prints a lot of stuff on the stack. 
and maybe I'll get this variable won't have been overwritten between those calls and life will be good and I'll just have the flag. Let's see what happens. So the under construction method 29e, and of course these are in little Indian order, and then of course I need my new line so it actually prints Send that to netcat Saturn Pico CTF. Okay, great. So it appears to print out some stuff. Um, so I think what we're going to want is unhexlify. And hexlify will be a nice thing. So from bin ASCII, import unhexlify. Say unhexlify um, 6f63 6970. Okay, so there's my Pico. Do that again with the next one, 7B46543. CTF. All right, so maybe we'll just build this thing. Um, and then if we just print it backwards, that should be okay. So who else do we need? Uh, 3, 4, 6, 5, 6, C, 4, 3, 5, 0, 7, 5, 5, F, 4, E, 6, D, 33, 4, D, 5, F, 5, F, Five nine seven two three zero two three five six four three eight three nine two six or three nine six two three nine three eight. Um, this actually doesn't really look like it's ASCII. It looks like it's a return address. So let's just see what this gives us. Uh, okay, maybe we need the actual 7D off of that. Okay, great. And so now we'll try to print that backwards. That did not work as well as I hoped. Uh, oh, right, because it's each one of them that needs to be backwards. Hmm. Well, we could probably still get the flag out of this. How do we do that? Be PICO, squiggle CTO. Yeah, all right, so we'll just read them four at a time backwards. So we'll grab this thing. Should probably write code for this, but too lazy. So PICO underscore CT, CTF unders, uh, underscore squiggle. Okay, and there we go, and there's our 400 points.